Well, hi everybody across Britain. My name is uh, Graeme Stevenson and I am an artist myself, but I'm also the CEO of a business that I started a few years back called Put Some Colour in Your Life, or Colour in Your Life. Uh, and the show is uh, based on artists in their studios and I actually interview artists in their studios and watch how they go about their methodology and what they do and really what we do is we uh, we put a, a package together in a sense I suppose you could say uh, that's designed around a marketing tool or a digital marketing tool that really benefits uh, the artists in the long run uh, because of the fact that we actually take the shows and put them into a lot of different digital and TV formats across the world. Now the, the series has expanded quite rapidly, uh, originally started in Australia, you can obviously hear my accent, and it's gone on to New Zealand and the United States, and we have interest from Europe, uh, Canada as well, and I have met uh, in the process of putting this together a delightful man called Mr Ian Walton, who is a brilliant landscape artist from Wales. And Ian basically saw the advantage of being part of this and doing this and uh, we'll realise that if we were able to establish this in the United Kingdom that it would greatly help the artists uh, in the UK in expanding their careers and exposing them to what we've done. I think in the last, say, 10 years with the internet and what's happening with the internet, it really has exploded uh, and is spreading out you know, quite exponentially across the planet. Eight years ago when the GFC kicked in and a lot of the galleries started closing and the artists were pretty desperate to get their work out there, I said to myself, there's got to be a better way to do this. I was actually living in the United States for many years and was involved with television in the US and a lot of my friends and associates were involved in the IT industry and the communications industry. So I uh, basically put together a plan one night. It was a bit of an epiphany, I must admit. Uh, half past two in the morning, I woke up with an idea and um, and Colour in Your Life was basically born. And I. I looked at your well-known uh, Billy Connolly, who I think is just an amazing, amazing guy, and also the two hairy bikers, and I thought, what a great idea for a show. So, as you can see behind me, I actually ride a Harley Davidson to the various places, and it really acts as a, as a situation to draw in many of those people that would generally be afraid of art or afraid to even want to learn about art, uh, and even, even investors and clients that... Uh, would, would like to know more about a particular artist. This has actually really helped out in doing that. And a lot of the artists have found that have done the show, and some of them have come back for a second and third time because they wanted to show people new work. They were so happy the way that it worked for them in the first place. Uh, is that it, it enables you to literally have a platform that has simply never existed before. If you were to take out, say, a magazine ad, um, and they are virtually the same cost as what it would cost to be part of what we're doing, so we really are very, very inexpensive for what we actually produce for each individual artist. But, you know, a, a, a magazine is around for maybe a month and then it's gone. Uh, and you pretty, pretty well much never get to see it again. But this is really a, a documentary about who you are as an individual and your creative process. And it really helps the clients even, you know, sending this to trade shows, playing it while you're actually doing an exhibition so people can understand your methodology. There's many, many, many things that you can actually do with this tool once you actually have it. And of course, we continue to push it across the globe ourselves into many, many different television stations right across the world. And uh, hopefully Ian is um, talking to public television in Britain right now. We're actually in negotiations right now uh, with all of the, the galleries that, um, or the ships that have galleries on them right across the world. And we're hoping to get the series onto those ships as well, which is about 30 million plus people a year that can get to view the series. So lots of pretty amazing things that we're, we've got. Um, I have just been awarded the OAM in Australia, which I think is a little similar to your OBE in Britain for my services to the arts, plus my team. I mean, I couldn't have done this without the team behind me. So we're very thrilled about that. And it's, it means that we're recognised. I mean, our government and many people around us have recognised us for the fact that we have created something that is, um, that is quite unique and, and doing a fantastic job for artists literally all over the world. My intention is to, you know, build this into to varying countries so that other people can be part and parcel of it and then have uh, an amazing central database so that people can come in and see who you are but then learn through the process as well. I mean, part of my mission in life is to, is to create a library of the minds of artists so future generations can see what we are and there's a legacy left behind 
uh, and not just, you know, you guys unfortunately pass away and we really don't know who you are or what you did. So if you would like to be part and parcel of this, please have a chat to Ian. Um, we uh, we would like definitely like to get to uh, Britain uh, at least this summer and uh, get some things organised with you guys. I couldn't imagine riding a Harley Davidson around in the snow in, the, in Wales or England in the middle of winter. That's not going to happen. Uh, but let, let us get over there. You know, I mean, part of this as well is, is promoting the areas that you come from. I mean, the, the, the show really is starting to cross into a, a travel sense of things as well. So there's a, a lot of different avenues that we're going to be able to go down as, as we go uh, through putting this all together. But it would be great to have you on board. Uh, if Ian has spoken to you, uh, this is just my form of, of getting uh, to have an introduction with you as well. But it would be great to have you on board. Uh, I'm always available for Skype talks or for email or even telephone calls if you guys want more information on what we're doing. Uh, you can go to the website, which is colourinyourlife.com.au, and then you can see a lot of the stuff that's going on in there. Or just go to YouTube and type in Colour in Your Life. We have literally tens of thousands of subscribers. We have built a, a very, very strong social networking platform that really does benefit the artists quite tremendously in the end. So I hope you can come along and be part and parcel of what we're doing and part of what we're doing in Britain. Uh, and it'd be great to see you guys and it'd be great to spread this across Britain as well. So I hope you're having a great day and put some colour in your life. Thanks, guys.